code tested. In Sadir, these things are called champions. They're often sold outside temples, military barracks and schools. This is the tube where all the alchemical ingredients go in order to make a functioning machine candle. This stuff is similar to our black powder, except it burns longer and slower. It's a potent explosive that can act as a propellant for both muskets and fire flowers. Red coloring. My table's always open, day and night. Essence of sunworm is produced by leaving the worms out in the sun the until they blister and ferment, after which they're squashed and filtered into bottles. Exotic oils, foreign herbs. Good. Now you need to make the fire powder somehow. My father was never too clear on how that part's done. All I know is that it's powder that went pssst when it was lit. All that's left is to combine all the ingredients in a tube. That should be easy, right? You start with the fire powder at the bottom. And then the glowy balls on top until the tube is full. That looks okay. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but there's only one way to find out. It's a working fire flower, a Bakshivan candle. Here you go, boy. Now don't light this before I tell you to. Oh, man! I'll be careful, I promise. I can't wait to see how this one burns. Use the fireworks to distract the guard away from that door. Yes, yes. Hey, what are you doing, child? That's magic. Magic's illegal. What in Shadow's name are you? Apostle! You're dead! I won't hurt you again, child. I promise. Leave. Do not come back. Oh, my head's hurting. Why is my... What's happening? Uh, who are you? Where's Ramin? Wh wh why am I tight? Alvani. You're not dead. Oh, in Shadow's name. I, 
I, I, I'll pay you. I'll make you wealthy. I'll get you a pardon from the tower and- Shut your mouth. I need information. What do you mean by If that? you speak out of turn again, I'll cut off your dick and shove it down your throat. The raid tonight. I don't know anything about a raid. He will lie. Unless I show him what happens when he does. Unless I cause him pain. I cannot justify torture. I'll have to convince him to talk to me. He will. Goddess, no. No! I was the apostle. I brought pain to our enemies. In return, they confessed and converted without fail. If I was trained to make the devout denounce their own gods, do you not think I can make a goddessless child molester reveal his secrets? Please, please, no more. I'll tell you everything I know. There will be a raid on the magic ghetto tonight. Before sunup. Commander Vamon is leading the unit himself. They have a list. Magicals. Uh, humans who evaded the resistance. Suspected collaborators. It's a long list. They're planning to round up most of the magicals. Take them to the islands. Some. Some. They're just going to kill. Their families. Their homes. They'll be burned to the ground. It's retaliation for what happened at the keep. For the weapon shipment. Vamon wants everyone to know there will be consequences to the rebels' actions. That everyone will suffer because of the resistance. Let's go over this again. Tell me everything you know. Please. Don't kill me. I won't tell anyone about this. About you, I, I can't. They'll... They'll execute me. I'll do anything. I'll, I'll spy for you. I, I'll feed you information from inside the tower. Just... Just spare me. Please. For the love of the goddess, I beg you. There's always a risk that he will reveal what happened here. But if I spare his... Betray me, and the tower will know what you did. Even if they spare your life, I will find you, and I will make you pay. Yes, yes! I swear on the first mountain. I won't speak a word of this. I'll, I'll give you all the information I come across. Everything! You'll return to this place every week to meet an agent of ours. Your guard will believe you still visit your... your girl. Of, of course, Apostle. Thank you. Shut up before I cut your tongue from your mouth. I'll release you now. But you'll stay here until your guard knocks on the door. We'll know the instant you break your oath. Where's the guard? He's in a mud cellar, stuck to his knees in Elgwyn dung. He'll be busy for a while. You did good, Bip. What happened in there? Did you get what you needed? I did. Listen, you can't stay here in Old Town. The Azadi are coming. I'm not afraid of the Azadi. Nevertheless, you need to leave. I'll bring you to the Enclave and you'll be safe with- I'm not going anywhere. This is where I live. What if my parents come back? They'll be looking for me. You're not safe here. I'm sure your parents would be happier knowing you're with us. You just want to put me in an orphanage. Wait. Shadow. Children.
The General is asking questions. I've heard. We must find Kian before... I'll make sure Hami's attentions are directed elsewhere. Tonight's raid on the Magic Ghetto will be a good start. What did he say? The General tells me that my men are sticking to the story, but that some of the prisoners are spreading rumors. That's a little concern. They will not live to see another interview. And arouse more suspicion? Don't be a fool, Vermon. Don't ever call me a fool. Then try not to act like one. Who else did he speak with? The Warden. What? I thought you were taking care of that problem. You're the one who worries about arousing suspicion. I couldn't simply have him executed. There are laws. And now the General has a witness. An infidel's testimony can never be used against Trueborn. But his words can fuel further investigations. The General will soon have other matters to concern himself with. We're stepping up the deportations and we're close to completing the machine. After that, Kian's death will be low on his list of priorities. And in the meantime, the General is pursuing leads. Like I said, tonight's raid will distract him. How so? Because it won't go well. The rebels will strike. Many of his men will die, our forces will be on high alert, and, as Supreme Commander, it'll be Harmy's job to clean up. He will blame you. And I will take responsibility. And action. There will be little time for his investigations. By the time the situation is under control again, other matters will have taken precedence. We will keep the General's attentions elsewhere until our mission here is done. And then, no one... No one will challenge us. I hope you're right. I always am. Come here. This is not the time for... I'm as hard as Nigali steel. This is exactly the time. I apologize for being late, but I have important... Every minute wasted could mean lives lost. Enu, can you tell us what you've learned? Not a whole lot. No one's talking. There's not even a whisper of a raid. I'm starting to think maybe Ulvik's loose-lipped, drunken Azadi was merely a braggart. Also, merely a braggart? I've been around you guys too long. I'm starting to speak like a sullen warrior. I went looking for our people in Old Town. They're standing by for my word. I don't want to pull them out of the city until we know for sure what's happening. Let's hope for their sake Anu's right, and there's no raid tonight. The raid is taking place, just before sunrise. We still have several hours. How did you come up? Hey, Big Blue, let him speak. The plan is to arrest as many magicals as possible, along with rebel sympathizers. It's a show of strength. They want us to be scared. Where did you get this information, Kian? From a trusted source. I met her here before we... Mystery Woman! I remember Mystery Woman! Well, I remember you talking about Mystery Woman. She's a friend of Ulvik's, right? We can definitely trust her. She told me about an Azadi officer who... visits with an underage Dalmari girl. And she told me where to find him. He... He was with a child? That's... That's sick. And did you find him? I did. They'll be coming into the ghetto from the north and the east, and they'll have a ship blocking all traffic in and out of Shady Quay. He told me that this will be their biggest raid on the ghetto so far. Given his rank and the precariousness of his situation, I believe him. How did you get him to reveal all that? I did what I had to do to make him speak. He was in no state to tell lies. Did what you had... wait. You tortured him? That's how you got the information? I'm... We don't do that! Do we? I would have done the same. Color me not surprised. It sounds like your intelligence is to be trusted, Kian. We'll prepare for the raid, and I'll tell our people to abandon Old Town. Where is the officer now? I let him go. He might prove a valuable asset in the future. Will he not simply go straight to his masters? I have information that would lead to his execution, should his commanders learn the truth. 
He'll keep his silence. But you let a child molester walk free. Was that because he's one of yours? And because the Domari girl is just another filthy magical? I won't soon forget this insult, Azadi. For what it's worth, Kian, I think you did the right thing. I mean, he deserves punishment for what he did to the girl, but to have a source inside the tower? This could change everything. <sighs> well, at least now we know what's happening tonight. So much for my sources. We've been waiting for a chance to show the Azadi we're not running scared. We have magic. Potent magic. Magic that goes boom, big time. And maybe... Maybe we can reduce their numbers. Blow a few of those dogs to their precious first mountain. I just wish you hadn't tortured him. Some things are just not okay. But at least you let him live. That was definitely the right choice, even if Liko will never agree. Boy, he really doesn't like you, does he? Who's there? You? However did you get here? <laughs> 